Years pass, buyer sentiment changes, but one thing remains stable. Luxury sedans are still the vehicles of choice for the conservative ultra-rich buyers. If you're also a fan of heated, cooled and massaged leather seats, today we present to you a lineup of the industry's freshest executive saloons with the poshest and the most technologically advanced interiors. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and let's window shop together. We start the engines now. Genesis G90 After six years on the market, the first standalone model by the Korean luxury mark is getting its first comprehensive overhaul. The new generation G90 offers two wheelbase lengths, while its exterior styling sticks to the brand's overall design direction with an evolved version of the Crest grille and new ultra-thin dual-line headlamps. Instead of using one of the existing G90 engines, the sedan replaces them with a 3.5-liter turbo V6 paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. In the standard G90, it is rated for 380 HP and 391 pound-feet. But in the long wheelbase version, the mill is assisted with a mild hybrid system, raising its output to 415 horses and 405 pound-feet. The latter is offered exclusively with the all-wheel drive, while the former is also available as a rear-wheel drive sedan. Since G90 is destined to challenge the German luxury models, Genesis installs its first air spring suspension with the preview electronic control technology. It scans the road for imperfections and adjusts accordingly. Its cabin is wrapped in quilted leather, there is an antimicrobial air system, and the dashboard houses 12.3-inch drivers and infotainment screens. Lastly, the rear seats are equipped with footrests, reclining mechanism, and massage. Mercedes-AMG EQE With the fourth sedan model joining the Mercedes EQ lineup, the German brand establishes its leading position among manufacturers of electric executive cars. The 2023 Mercedes-AMG EQE is the freshest mid-size newcomer with the performance-focused specifications. It has a similar silhouette to the larger EQS, but the front and rear lighting elements have unique design and model-specific animation. The EV-styled Panamericana grille with the strong vertical bars rises the level of mean, and it is accompanied with sporty diffusers, spoilers and wheels. The AMG EQE is powered by a pair of permanent magnet motors that make 617 horsepower and 701 pound-feet. But these figures can be raised with the optional AMG Dynamic Plus package. The boost goes all the way up to 677 horses and 738 pound-feet, which improves the 0-60 time by 0.2 seconds to 3.2. The 90.6 kWh battery supports 170 kW recharging which adds about 112 miles of range in 15 minutes. Additionally, 11 or 22 kWh onboard solutions can be used for home reducing. The MG EQE has five driving modes – Slippery, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Race Start. These adjust the power output, air suspension tuning, timing of the cooling system, and stability control. Rear-wheel steering is a standard feature, as well as 15-inch rear and 16-inch front brakes, that can be upgraded to 17.3-inch carbon ceramics. The interior of the Mercedes-AMG EQE is the usual mixture of carbon elements, sporty mood lighting and a magnificent hyperscreen. Audi A8 and S8 Audi's flagship is halfway through its fourth generation, so the model gets a slight facelift, mostly noticeable in the wider single-frame grille with fresh design, new S-line package, fresh wheel designs and color choices, new exhaust pipes, as well as redesigned head and OLED taillights. The optional front optics are the digital matrix LEDs with 1.3 million micromirrors that can be controlled with great precision. All of the Audi A8s come with a standard quattro all-wheel drive and can have a wide range of engines, including a standard 3.0-liter TFSI V6, 3.0-liter TDI V6, and a V6 plug-in hybrid with a 60 miles of electric range. 
As for the 453 horsepower 4 liter twin turbo V8, it was reserved for the S8. This mill is hooked to a 48 volt hybrid system for seamless acceleration to 60 and 3.2 seconds. The S model also gets sporty equipment like rear wheel steering, sport rear differential, and predictive active suspension with actuators at each wheel to counter cornering loads. As always, Audi's cabin keeps its technological and comfort edge with a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, 10.1 and 8.6 inch touchscreens for the infotainment and climate controls, Bank and Olufsen audio system, panoramic sunroof, and multi adjustable seats with massage, heating, and cooling. Lucid Air When Lucid first surfaced in 2016, it was promoted as the most promising Tesla killer, especially since its development has been overseen by the former Tesla executives. However, the final product should not be compared to the Model S, since it forgoes the simplicity and practicality of Elon Musk's creations in favor of the ultra-luxury features. The Lucid Air sedan is among the most aerodynamic cars in the world with 0.21 drag coefficient and design inspired by the elegant aircraft shapes. The wow factor is further enhanced with the in-house developed intelligent micro-lens array headlights and a sweeping speed form taillights. When the entire lineup is available, the Lucid Saloon will be sold in four trunks. The base Air Pure is a single-motor rear-wheel drive automobile that makes 620 horsepower and has 406 miles of range reserves. In turn, the flagship Air Dream Edition is a dual-motor all-wheel drive that claims the title of the world's longest-range EV with 520 miles and up to 1,111 horsepower. On the inside, it features premium materials and finishes, an all-glass roof, and several smart screens, including a 34-inch curved 5K display. By the way, the Air is also expected to debut the next-generation driver assist system that relies on a high-resolution LiDAR and 32 different sensors. Lastly, in 2022 Lucid Air received the Car of the Year award from Motor Trend, beating luxury rivals like the Mercedes S-Class. Each like matters, so do not go any further without smashing the like button. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Genesis G80 Sport This is the latest version of the recently revised G80 sedan that is positioned as the sportiest model in the lineup. It boasts a reworked dark chrome front grille and lower bumper. There are model-specific 19 or 20-inch wheels, brake calipers are painted in either black or red, and there is an optional Cavendish red hue. Apart from the cosmetics, the G80 Sport receives a retuned suspension that becomes 4% stiffer up front and 12 at the rear. For the first time, the model also gets a rear-wheel steering function and a Sport Plus mode that turns off the traction control system. With the latter engaged, the model can sprint to 60 in 4.7 seconds. Its 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 is carried over, which means that it delivers 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of twist. Inside the cabin, the driver gets a standard three-spoke steering wheel, new ergo-motion seats with back massage, and model-specific quilting. Aluminum trim is standard, but with the optional prestige package, it can be upgraded to carbon fiber. Interior colors include red, black, and beige. Additionally, the G80 Sport is equipped with a 14.5-inch infotainment, a 12.3-inch digital instrumentation, and a 21-speaker audio system from Lexicon. NEO ET5 NEO's second sedan model belongs to the midsize segment, offering buyers plenty of interior space, sleek design, and extreme aerodynamic efficiency. The ET5 has a drag coefficient of 0.24, despite carrying a lighter unit on the roof. The car gets muscular wheel arches, short body creases, and overall fascia design similar to the larger ET7. The model should be released to the market in the fall of 2022, and for now it is confirmed to arrive in a dual-motor configuration that powers all four wheels. The setup will deliver around 490 horsepower and 516 pound-feet. NEO promises three battery sizes for the sedan. 
75 kWh with 240 miles, 100s with 310, or a 150 kWh pack with 440 miles. The quickest 0 to 60 time is quoted to be at 4.3 seconds. As usual, the Chinese brand puts a heavy emphasis on technological superiority. In addition to the already mentioned LiDAR, its autonomous driving features are enabled by 32 different sensors, cameras, and radars. The internal environment is managed by the Nomi Assistant, and the cockpit consists of a 10.2-inch driver's cluster and a 12.8-inch infotainment. Finally, the interior dubs simple and minimalistic styling with a 256-color ambient lighting and a 23-speaker Dolby Atmos audio. Are you a fan of executive luxury in the sedan form or would you go for a premium SUV? Which model is your topic from the lineup? We'll be discussing these and many other questions in the comment section below the video. Smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and proceed to exploring other videos about the 2022 car lineups. May the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!